Family over everything, we too tied in. Got a problem with one, then you know we all slide in. I got your back, you got mine. Stick together and we'll be fine. Pack gang, we forever, I love that line. One more time. Pack gang, pack gang, pack gang. Remember the name, don't forget, we coming to claim my respect. That's a bit, ayy. We too live, make sure you subscribe. More coming soon, just stay tuned. Follow and subscribe to Park Gang. Gang, gang. Hey gang, so I am back. It's your favorite mom, Carleen, in the bitty with a new bitty. Anyways, guys, so like I said um, in the, the last video, I don't know if y'all watched it or not, but anyways, by the title of this video, you already know what's going down. I'm making a seafood boil for the kids. They love my seafood boil and requested it because it's Good Friday and we not eating no meat. So, seafood boil it is. So, I just wanted to, you know, vlog a little bit for you guys so you guys could see how I make my seafood boil. You guys comment down below how you guys make it, but we're going to go through everything as to how I make it. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when we post a new video. And we're going to get into it. Okay, KK? Alright guys, so first things first. Of course, we need our tap. Now, I normally just get the frozen crab and then I put everything in the pan and put it under the oven, but because I got home so late today, I went ahead and had them steam it for me already. So they steamed it and they add Old Bay, they added Old Bay and um, lemon pepper, which I bought also because I need to, you know, add that to the other items that I'm gonna put in there. So Old Bay and lemon pepper is like, if you have Old Bay and lemon pepper, that's all you really need to be honest, to season it up really good and it'll be, it'll taste so good. But I also use all other seasonings as well. We're gonna use onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, Cajun seasoning, Sorry guys, um, cayenne pepper, chili, chili powder, and then I also like to put like Italian, Italian um, seasoning, um, paprika, let me see if I have it on this side, I should have it on the other side. too much stuff in there I know other people that do their seafood boils put like um they also put I think Creole seasoning and they put a whole bunch of other stuff but to be honest like I said you don't need all that stuff if you have obey and lemon pepper you're good to go okay um there is also a packet that you can buy the obey um packet that you put in the water but to be honest, I don't feel like that really does anything. It don't, you know, give it no extra taste or nothing like that. So, you don't really have to do that. But it's up to you if you want to. But anyways, guys, I'm going to add all the eggs because the kids really like the eggs. So, I'm adding all the eggs. How many in here? 12 eggs. I'm going to add all the eggs. Um, you can use fresh corn or frozen corn. But like I said, I can't. I got home late, so I made sure I bought this one because it's not gonna take too long to get these cooked. Um, I do have fresh corn, but I'm gonna save that for Sunday dinner. And then red skin potatoes. These are petite already, so I don't have to cut them up, and they don't take that long to cook either. So I got those, and then I bought extra large shrimp to add to the seafood boil as well. So. All you need now is a 
big pan to put everything in and mix everything up and put it under the oven and cook to go. This seafood is about to be lit, y'all. We about to be lit. Y'all comment down below what seasonings y'all use. But like I said, this is what I'm using today. Cayenne pepper, chili powder, black pepper, Italian seasoning, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay, and lemon pepper, my favorite. I love lemon pepper. Ooh, I love lemon pepper. All right, so we're about to get into it, guys. I'm gonna put the eggs to boil, put the potatoes to boil, and the corn to boil, and that's about it. The shrimp, I'm going to defrost the shrimp, and the shrimp could actually cook while you put it under there. You don't have to pre-cook the shrimp because the shrimp does not take that long to cook. So y'all, y'all could just, you know, prep it, and once you're ready to go, once it's ready to go under the oven, you just add the shrimp because it won't take long for the shrimp. The shrimp will cook fine under there. You want to make sure that your potatoes are cooked, your corn, um, your eggs, of course, and then your crab, of course. So you don't want to put those items under the oven frozen because it's going to be a mess. Okay? But like I said, I got my um, crab pre steamed already, and then so all I have to do is boil the eggs, the corn, and the potato. And then do, you know, prep my shrimp. So, oh, I can't wait for y'all to see the seafood boil. It's so good. I love seafood boil, but I just don't like to make it. <laughs> but they requested for me to make it, so I'm gonna make it today. Okay, so let's get started, guys. You guys can see what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start boiling everything, and then we can put everything together, and then voila! Okay, success. All right, guys, so I'm boiling the eggs. 12 eggs, as you can see, 12 eggs, because the kids really like the eggs. I like the eggs too, they taste real good. Um, it's in the seafood well. What happened? Huh? I'm cooking, honey. What you doing? That's Santana, guys. Always bothering me, trying to find out what I'm doing. So I'm going to put the rest of the potatoes in with the eggs. And I didn't get that many potatoes because the kids don't really like the potatoes like that. I like the potatoes, and I'm not going to eat that many, so... I only bought one bag of um, red skin petite potatoes. If you guys want to know which one it is, it's River Gold. You can actually microwave these potatoes and they'll be good to go in eight minutes. But I'm going to boil them. But this is the one that I purchased if you guys are interested in knowing. But you can purchase any red skin potatoes. I normally get the, the regular ones that you can pick in the vegetable aisle. And then I like cut them up. But <clears throat> these petite ones are very convenient because they're already small and they come in the package and they don't take that long to boil. So I got those in there with the eggs and they're going to boil. They're going, oops, I'm at the camera in there. They're going to boil with the eggs. So we got that going and then I'm going to get another pot to boil the corn. Remember, I got the frozen corn. That way, it's not going to take me long to get the corn ready. And then I just got to prep my shrimp after that. So, I need another. I need something else. Oh, we got this one. A water corn here. Yeah. So we got the pot for the corn. I really like corn. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna probably put in some extra. So I have, I have eight, I have 16 corns. I'm not gonna cook all of them because, well you know what, I am gonna make all of them because they can eat some tomorrow to be honest. And I'm not gonna be here tomorrow, I have a client tomorrow. So. I'm gonna boil all 16 corn. That way I can make a big batter and they'll have some for lunch tomorrow. Or they'll probably just eat it tonight. Who knows? Some of them kids, they don't probably eat it all today. Especially when it's, you rarely have that over, especially when it's something that they really, really like. And they requested for the seafood boil. Anytime I make a seafood boil, it, we never have leftover, to be honest. And if, if we do have leftover, they be gone in the middle of the night or <laughs> they just be gone. What is this? 
Look at this one. Mm -mm, I'm about to throw that one. You know what? How many I got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This corn should be ready in like 15 minutes, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and then the eggs and potatoes should be ready in about 20 minutes. We're gonna save that rest of the corn for Sunday because, like I said, I bought um. I bought the fresh corn for Sunday dinner. So, you guys buy this corn, you guys like this cook with this corn. I bought the fresh corn for Sunday dinner, so I'll save the other ones that I had left over and this for Sunday. Okay. Anyways, guys, yes, everything is for me. So while everything is boiling, I'm going to prepare my chicken. This is a quick way to do your, your seafood boil because if you do everything like if you do fresh corn and you have to steam the crab yourself, it's going to take longer to get the seafood boil ready. But if you already get your crabs steamed and you do frozen um, corn or whatnot, it'll cut your time down, I would say half an hour, 30 minutes. Like I said, I came here late. I went to go, you know, get my ass kicked in. So I got home late, and these kids want their seafood boil. So I wanted to cut the time down as, as far as the time of cooking so that, you know, they can eat their food. Yeah, so now I'm going to get the shrimp prepared. This is frozen shrimp, and I got from Publix extra large shrimp. How do you guys like the shrimp? Because I like to take everything off the tail, the skin, everything. I don't like, like, I don't. You know how restaurants be having the skin and stuff still on the shrimp when you eat your pasta? Like, I'm like, why? Why not take the whole thing off? I don't know. That's just me. That's my preference. Some people like it like that, I guess. I don't know, but I don't. I like to peel it completely, take the skin off, the tail off, everything. That way, when I'm eating, I can really enjoy it. I don't have to peel it and take the tail off. Like, who wants to do that? But I'm getting shrimp ready, guys. So, everything else is boiling. We'll be back. All right, guys. So I got the shrimp ready for seasoning. Can't leave up, guys. But yeah, I'm about to season the shrimp, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to season the shrimp with everything that I told you guys that I was going to put in the oil, and then well, um, once I season. The shrimp, it'll just sit to the side with the crab and just wait for everything else to get ready. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust the camera, guys. But yeah, I got the shrimp ready, so I got it in the bowl. I don't have that much because it's just me that's ready. Well, me and maybe Phil or my husband might eat some shrimp, so it's fine. I didn't need that much. I didn't need that much. I didn't buy that much, so. We're just gonna season it with everything that I said. I'm just open. Oh, these are already open. This is the cayenne that I'm putting in there now. Trying to put it at an angle with that. Well, I'll show you guys after. So I put the cayenne pepper first. Oops. Not coming off that much. It, it. I am the first, and we got chili. Ooh, that chili thing went out. Boom. Put some black pepper. If y'all like y'all um seafood boiled spices, spicy. Cayenne chili and black pepper. Okay, add that. This is Cajun. I'm putting in there now. I want a lot of nice taste and seasoning to Cajun is good. Cajun is good. I'm gonna put onion powder. I'm 
We're gonna put Italian seasoning. The Italian seasoning will give you those herbs and stuff that you want, that you may want or may not want in your seafood boil. But if you just want like those little herbs and stuff in there, then Italian seasoning is really good, high calorie. We're gonna put garlic powder. Now we're gonna put obey, obey, a baby, a a baby. Y'all been doing that challenge, that a baby challenge, all over the place. So obey, a baby, a baby, a a baby, and my favorite, the <laughs> pepper. Let me tell you something. Let me step up away everything, okay? You know what I tried when I was I was at youth fair the other day with the kids? I tried corn with flaming hot. Flaming, it was a flaming hot corn on the cob. And then I added lemon pepper. It was so good. Y'all need to try that. Flaming hot corn. I had corn on the cob. They, they, I had the option of doing corn on the cob or having the corn in a bowl. I didn't want to have the corn in a bowl. Like that, just like defeats the purpose for me. So I had corn on the cob. It was a flaming hot corn on the cob that I wanted to try like for a long time now. Oh, you know what? I forgot the sausage. We gonna have some sausage too, guys. I had some sausage in the freezer already. That's what I forgot. Oh, and y'all ain't remind me, really. So the sausage is one of the best parts. One of the best parts. I'm gonna add some sausage too. Um, but yeah, when I was at the fair, I had the flaming hot corn and it was so good. And I added lemon pepper to one side and it was even better. I can't believe it. Yes. Santana wants to say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Say hi, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Say what's good, Peggy. Say what's good, Peggy. Say gang gang. Gang gang. Choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> All right, get down, puppy. All right, so yeah, guys, try that. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably do a cooking video and show y'all how it's done. You want to get um, baked corn on the cob. If fresh corn would be better, guys, don't get the frozen corn. Fresh corn would be better. Get a huge corn on the cob. Boil it, make sure it's nice and soft and nice. You're gonna dip it in butter, put your flaming hot on it, and put your lemon pepper on it. It's gonna taste so good. I'm, I'm gonna make a video for y'all, so y'all can see. But anyways, guys, so I got the shrimp all seasoned up. I'm gonna mix it. This is gonna be so juicy. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the sausage, cut it up, and just add it with the shrimp. That way it can get a little bit of seasoning. You don't really need to season the sausage, especially if you get Garcia sausage. You don't really need to season that. But I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna cut it up. What's wrong, Tammy? I'm gonna get it and cut it up and add it with our shrimp, okay guys? You wanna say hi to Peggy? Say hi, Peggy. Say hi. Y'all don't mind her hair. I just took her hair out. She gotta get her hair. It's your turn. I just picked you up, Santana. All right, so let me get the sausage cut up and I'm gonna add it to our shrimp and I'm just waiting for the eggs, potatoes, and the corn and we're gonna put everything together, y'all, and we're gonna get a lit seafood oil. It's gonna be so good. Ooh, I can't wait. All right, guys, so I got my sausage. Um, I got my sausage, guys. I mixed, I just put the sausage in here with the shrimp. Put some extra sausage in there because I love the sausage. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. Like, yep, got the sausage. I'm about to um crack the eggs up and the potatoes. The potatoes I don't have to do anything with. So the potatoes we don't have to do anything with. We're just gonna crack the eggs up, mix everything together, and we just go. All right, guys. So I'm back. I got the eggs. And the potatoes. I'm gonna mix them all with the seasoning that I already have cooked in with the shrimp and stuff like that. Woo! I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but we're gonna try to kind of toss it. Ooh, 
try not to make it fall out the bowl. All right, so we got eggs, potatoes, shrimp, and sausage in here. All right, so we got the eggs, potatoes, sausage, shrimp. We got more crab already. I don't really like, well, I like this crab, but I also really, really like um, king crab. But they didn't have any king crab today at the store. It might have been sold out. Um, but I really, really love king crab because it's more, It's y'all already know it's much bigger and much juicier, so. Um, but they didn't have any. So I'm gonna have to sell for that. All right, so we got our everything together. The only thing that I'm waiting for the, is the corn, guys. I thought I turned the corn on and I did not turn it on. And then, the only other thing that you wanna make sure that you have is butter. I'm gonna melt this butter and then once I put everything together in the pan, I'm gonna pour the butter over it. That way it can make a nice sauce for the seafood boil. Um, like I said, there is like a seafood boil seasoning packet that you can buy and you can use that as well. But to me, it doesn't really add any type of flavor or nothing. It just make a sauce, a watery sauce. I still add butter and uh, um, add all my seasonings to it. The only thing that it does is give it some type of spice, I guess, because I don't know, but it doesn't really do anything. So I didn't buy it this time and I'm not adding it this time. I'm just gonna melt some butter and pour it over everything once I put everything in the pan. So we're almost done. We're almost ready to do that. Once we're ready to do that, I'm gonna get back with you guys so that you guys can see everything and how it's formed. I'm gonna put it under the oven for about 30 minutes and then that's it. And then we're good to go. So, I hope you guys, you know, been taking notes and stuff like that because, <clears throat> oh yeah, I just gonna have to say that in the video. But this is an easy seafood boil um, recipe that I do all the time for the kids. And it's very easy to do. Anybody can do it. You guys can do it yourself. So, y'all don't really need much to do it. Um, just make sure you got the right seasoning. But like I said, if you have Obey and um, lemon pepper, that's all you really need to really have a, you know, some type of a nice flavor for your seafood boil you don't need much shrimp eggs sausage potatoes crab corn and whatever else you like to eat crawfish or whatever you want to put in there I don't like crawfish I don't like those things I just put the crab shrimp and my sausage that's it oh shoot I'm only supposed to be eating meat that's why I did not buy sausage guys now I gotta put that sausage to the side I ain't, I'm not I can't put it that's why I didn't buy sausage, guys, because we're not eating meat today. I'm going to put it to the side, and then we'll eat it tomorrow. <laughs> you see, y'all got me all messed up. Y'all not even letting me know. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all. I'll be back. All right, guys. So, I melted the butter. I melted it in the little thing that I had, the eggs and everything already in there with the seasoning, the shrimp, and all that good stuff. Melted the butter. And then I added some of the seasonings in the butter. So we're gonna pour this over the seafood. You, you still gotta cook that. We're gonna put it under the oven for like 20 minutes. Okay. Is it ready? Huh? It is ready? Yeah. Where are you gonna put these on it? I am gonna put that in. I'm gonna put that with the corn. I have to separate it because this is not big enough. You are um, turning to those? We can't eat those today. What? Oh, dang. We can't eat those today. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it and then whatever leftover we have for tomorrow, I'll add the sausage. Nice. Alright, so we're just gonna pour some oil. The seafood boil is gonna make there is on top anyway once it gets under the oven. So you don't need that much. So I'm not gonna put that much. Right, Anaya? What's up, baby? I'm not gonna put that much over it because it's gonna make its own sauce. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. I'm just gonna drizzle it with the sauce with a spoon. It's gonna be so yummy, guys. Oh my god, it's gonna be so yummy. Everybody wanna go to the classroom? Why? Okay, you can watch a movie right here in the living room. What's the big deal? 
Put a movie on right here, sir. It's here. not a movie, it's a show. Doesn't matter, put it on right here. I do watch it on my phone. Philip, put it on the TV right here, sir. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, guys, so, ooh, this is so good. So we just drizzling in it over everything. And then I'm gonna cover it with um, aluminum foil and put it under the oven. So the sausage is not gonna go to waste, guys. Um, we'll use it tomorrow because I'm sure it'll be some leftover. So I'll use it tomorrow. I'm gonna put the corn. I had to separate this because it's not big enough. So I'm gonna put the corn along with these two and then put everything under the oven. And then, bam. We gotta see some corn, guys. So. I'll be back once everything is done, and y'all gonna see how juicy and nice it is. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, keep the boil is done. I'm so hungry. I am going to show you guys the finished product. Drum roll. Let's see. What happened, Kelly? What happened, Mamita? Let me show you guys the finished product. Woo! It's nice. Let me I gotta turn the camera around. Hold on. See that steam guys? Woo. Yes, and then there's sauce in there as well. If you can see it. Why she want it? Because she wanted to come on the table. Anyways, guys, that's the finished product. It's so good, so yummy, so yummy, so yummy, right? Right, mommy? So yummy, so yummy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you like this mini video that I made of the seafood boil. Like I said, it's pretty easy to make. You can even make it yourself. It's not hard at all. Um, Replay the video, pause, do everything that you gotta do to check out the steps that I did in order to get this seafood, um, the seafood boil done. But anyways, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when we post new videos, guys. I will be posting more videos, so y'all stay tuned. And I hope you guys like this video. So make sure you give me a thumbs up. <laughs> anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Family over everything